Hi, I'm Akinyi. Um, I'm the owner of Rare Creations on Facebook and on Instagram as well. And welcome to this video as I try and explain to you how my business runs. I started the business in 2016 as a hobby, but now I'm doing it full time. The items you need for a crochet business include uh, hooks, yarn as well. For a sewing business, you probably need a properly working uh, hand sewing machine. Uh, there are different types. You can have the automatic like the one I have or you could also have the manual ones. Um, so I needed to start and expand the business mainly because of unemployment and also because I see so many possibilities and opportunities in this in this business. Um, my products are made on demand. That means depending on who sees what and likes it, then I can make it for them. Some of the lessons that I have learned through this business is that it needs discipline um, it needs patience crochet needs patience entrepreneurship just needs a lot of patience and the customer always comes first so you need to listen to your customer have good customer service skills be patient with them and appreciate all the things that they tell you positive negative criticism that's what will help you grow also love what you do. Uh, my highlights. My highlights come from when I make something for a customer and they end up loving it or they end up really appreciating it. I really enjoy when I see my customers appreciate my works of art. And some of the challenges probably I talk about deliveries. Sometimes deliveries can take time before I get them to the customer. That's not really a good thing because you want your customer to get it when they're still excited about it and not something that they get after. And also not beating deadlines, especially with crochet. Crochet sometimes you can start making something and uh, you end up making it for longer than you expected. Some advice that I can give is just uh, in any business or if you'd like to start a crochet business, it doesn't need too much money. Just be cost consistent. Once you have a hook and you have some yarn, the tutorials are on YouTube. I hope I'll be able to start making my own tutorials as well. Um, and you just be consistent. Just make and make and make. Your art will sell you the way they say chema chajuza so when you do things well people will notice and they'll come for it in one year i'm hoping that i'll be able to even be an employer and a trainer and just be able to expand my business and also help other people around me because i see the need and I know it's possible, it's possible for me to create jobs and that's my ultimate hope.